better to host a reveal than where it all began. Welcome to Golden Eye Jamaica. I'm here outside Ian Fleming's legendary GoldenEye Villa in Jamaica. In fact, this is the very location where he wrote all of the James Bond novels. From Casino Royale to The Living Daylights, this truly is the home of Bond. And later on today, this stunning location is going to cement its legacy with Bond as we're going to confirm some exclusive news on Bond 25. And I'll be sitting down with the man himself, Daniel Craig, and the cast to, to confirm some exclusive news. We'd all obviously love you guys to get involved so do use the hashtag bond25 that is b-o-n-d-2-5 we're also going to be caught catching up with our filmmakers barbara broccoli and michael g wilson and director carrie fukunaga who are going to be bringing you the 25th bond movie let's go and say hello to them good morning carrie good morning Good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Michael. Hello. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having us at Ian Fleming's uh, villa. I have to ask, look, the sun is shining. We are in Jamaica. Uh, but Barbara, how does it feel to be here this, this well, morning? It's incredible to be here. Um, you know, this is where James Bond was created in this very villa by Ian Fleming, what, 57 years ago? 57 years ago, and it's a, it's a great spot for us to kick off our James Bond film. Absolutely. Now, James is such a beloved character um, by people of all generations all over the world. Michael, why do you think he's such an enduring character? Well, I think we've tried to stay, uh, you know, true to the, to the character that Fleming created. And it, I know that Daniel from time to time goes and reads the books for inspiration. Uh, and I think it's because we, we do update the stories and we do update the plots, but we do stay very true to the character. And we got a great creative team here. We've got, it's headed up by Kerry, and we have a couple of veteran writers, uh, Neil Purvis and Rob Wade. We have a couple of new faces. We have uh, Scott Burns and uh, Phoebe waller bridges a very big deal in the UK. Yeah. Uh, Kerry, I have to ask you, um, is this a teenage dream come true? How does it feel to be at the helm of the 25th Bond movie? Uh, well, it's definitely an honour to be chosen. And basically now, since we're about to start shooting, I'm just chomping at the bit. So. <laughs> Chomping. Chomping. There you go. <laughs> no, not only. We, we're going to have breakfast for you, don't worry. Okay. Um, now, the Bond films are, you know, known for being shot in those incredible locations. We are here in Jamaica. We've been here before, 1962, for Dr. No, and later, about 11 years later, for um, Live and Let Die in 1973. What is it about this gorgeous country that keeps you coming back, and why are you back for this 25th film? Well, I just think it's, a, it's very inspiring. I mean, this is where Fleming created Bond. You can see the most beautiful nature here down the down the water, down there at Laughing Waters, where it was where Ursula Andrews came out of the beach and everything. So we just felt it was important to come back. And, um, you know, Dr. No was shot here, Live and Let Die, which Michael was in, actually. Uh, and there's a rumor I might make an appearance in this film. Well. You do like a cheeky cameo, <laughs> don't you, Michael? Oh, come on, you call me out. <laughs> and we're not mad at that. Um, Barbara, can you tell us, without ruining anything, um, what fans can expect from this 25th movie? Well, Bond uh, is not on active service when we start the film, so he is actually enjoying himself in Jamaica. Oh, my goodness. We <laughs> consider Jamaica Bond's spiritual home. So he starts his journey here, and uh, we've built an extraordinary house for him. We've had a tremendous support from the Jamaican um, Minister of Culture and Tourism, and we've, we've had about 500 people, local people, working on the film already. So. 
we've got quite a ride in store for Mr. Bond and uh, no title, unfortunately. Yet. I was going to ask, <laughs> dare I say, like, do, do we have a title, but completely nothing at the moment? Bond 25. No, I can't remember the last time we had a title when we announced the beginning of the film. It's a tradition now. <laughs> well, Bond 25 it is. Um, Kerry, can you confirm any other locations for us today? Uh, yeah, other than Jamaica, we have already shot in Norway uh, due to weather. And um, after Jamaica, we'll be going back to Pinewood and locations around London and, uh, and then finishing up in a little hilltop town in Italy called Matera. Lovely. So if you live in any of those areas, do look yeah. out for this very film crew coming to a, a city near you. Uh, now, look, it would be very silly of me to not come to Jamaica and check out some of the iconic locations that Bond has previously been shot in. And yesterday I went to a very special beach. I'm here at Laughing Waters Beach, immortalised on the silver screen in 1962's Dr. No. Underneath the mango tree. This beach doubled as Dr. No's private lair, Crab Key Island, and it's at this very location that an iconic movie tree. moment occurred. Me, honey, and me. This is the spot where Ursula Andress, as Honey Ryder, the first Underneath ever Bond actress, strode out of the sea in that bikini and into film Underneath history. The as the location was the start of Sean Connery's tenure as Bond, it's no surprise that the team returned to Jamaica for Roger Moore's first foray in 007 Shoes, 1973's Live and Let Die. Live and let die. So it's only fitting that 25 films later, Bond has once again returned to this breathtaking Live island. Oh, stunning locations. And don't forget to keep your questions coming in, by the way, using the hashtag Bond25. Right now it is the moment you guys have all been waiting for. We're about to exclusively confirm the Bond25 cast. Kerry, over to you. Can you let us know who's going to be returning for this new adventure? Uh, well, officially returning. Officially returning. Uh, <laughs> Ray Fiennes, mm -hmm. Leia Sadu, Naomi Harris, Ben Wishaw, Rory Kinnear, and Jeffrey Wright. That is a strong returning team. And what about the new faces? Well, we've got a couple new faces. Uh, Dolly Ben Sala, um, Billy Magnuson, Anna de Armas, David Denzik, Lashana Lynch, and uh, Rami Malik. All ready to get to work. Yeah, definitely. Um, thank you so very much, Kerry. Yeah. Now, before we talk to Double Low 07 himself, Daniel Craig, let's have a little reminder of how he took on this iconic character and truly made it his own. Be a pretty cold bastard who didn't want revenge for the death of someone he loved. How much do you know about fear? You're a kite dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Bond. It was me, James. The author of all your pain. Two survivors. This is what she made us. Such a waste. Is this really what you want? Always alone? I understand double O's have a very short life expectancy. It's a shame, really. She was meant for you, but she's been reassigned to 009. But you can have this. Does it do anything? It tells the time. Might help with your punctuality issues. I need to know that I can trust you. You don't have to worry about me. OK, Q, give me something. That's more like it. Maybe it was her way of telling me to take a desk job. Just the opposite. Third double oh seven. Lots to be done. I'm coming with you.
Are you ready to get back to work? With pleasure. Would you look who it is? You can see why I'm extremely happy because I am joined by an incredibly talented group of actors and a filmmaker in the form of Anna de Armas, Naomi Harris, Daniel Craig, Lashana Lynch, Leia Sedu, and our director, Kerry Fukunaga. Now, how are you guys, most importantly? And Anna and Lashana, um, how does it feel to be here in Jamaica joining the cast of Bond 25? Because you're the newbies. <laughs> how yeah. do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, it's incredible being here. I think it's, there's no better location than this one to talk about the movie. And to, to me, finally work with Carrie and repeat with Daniel. So it's very exciting. Yeah. And you know what? There's worse places you could be than Jamaica, right? Exactly. I feel really happy because my family are from here. So it feels nice to coincide your heritage and your work at the same time. And then also work with a great filmmaker and a great cast. Well, we're really happy to have you here. We're going to catch up with the rest of you guys in a bit. But first, we have a very special message from a guy called Rami Malek, who sadly couldn't be here. Jealous one bit that you're all in the absolutely stunning setting of Ian Fleming's iconic Caribbean home, Goldeneye, on the island of Jamaica. No, not at all. I'm stuck here in New York in production, but I am very much looking forward to joining the whole cast and crew so very soon. And I promise you all, I will be making sure Mr. Bond does not have an easy ride of it in this, his 25th outing. I can't wait to see you all soon. Cheers. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm a little <laughs> bit afraid. <laughs> um, Daniel, how did that make you feel? Good. Just a little bit, right? Yeah. Just a bit. Oh, Rami Malek. Um, now, look, we've had loads of questions come through from fans all over the globe uh, using the hashtag Bond25. Daniel, first question is for you. It's from Brian from the US. He says, how do you think the appeal of James Bond has lasted through the 25 movies? Um, hi, Brian. Um, I think consistency. And um, the movies have been an event. I mean, I think for myself, I remember going to see them as a kid, and they were, they were, they were, they were a moment. They, you know, the, the new Bond coming out was just incredibly exciting, and um, and uh, I, I, we've just tried uh, during my tenure, just tried to sort of continue that tradition of just making movies that stand out and are different from the other movies out there. Um, there's the there's the enduring. Um, um, a theme of, uh, of, of Ian Fleming, who, who wrote all the books here. I mean, the, the book sort of set it up. And the early movies with Sean Connery were just just so amazing. I think it's just sort of, I think, I mean, so many things. So many things. Mm. Um, unfortunately, we've only got a little bit of time, so I'm going to get more as many questions in as I can. Um, hello to you, Steve. <laughs> no. You were, that's what you were doing. You just said, she did. Look, <laughs> lots of things to talk about. Um, Steve, on from Facebook, wanted to know, uh, Naomi, what was your first thought when you realised you were going to be in a Bond movie? Because this is oh, your third gosh. outing on um, 25, right? All I thought about was my family, actually. I just thought, oh my God, they're going to go crazy. And they did go crazy. They threw a massive party, and it's been like a whole celebration. It's, it's not like I I just got the job it's like the whole family has got the job and they're all so excited about it they're all huge bond fans so it's, it means so much to all of us are you getting constant uh, whatsapp messages from like your relatives like oh i saw her uh, they're all so <laughs> excited because it's like it's happening here this you know i'm i'm jamaican so um that's where my roots are from so it's amazing that it's being launched here it's so exciting a beautiful homecoming yeah um to corneal uh, from the netherlands he wanted to know and uh, from all of you um which um cast member is the most excited to be in Bond 25, <laughs> if, if it's a competition, at Leah. <laughs> oh, okay, so I have to, uh, no, no, <laughs> I have to sell myself. No, no, I'm very, uh, very happy to be back. And um, yeah, I can't wait to start. Um, hello to um, Steve as well on Facebook. Steve's back, he loves us. He says, um, <laughs> he really, he's, he's, he's obsessed. He says um, to Naomi, in what way will Money Penny's role be different than the, pre than the previous films? And will you be back in the office or out in the field with Bond? Oh, Steve, I can't say. That's way too much information, unfortunately. So he'll just have to wait and see. Sorry, right. that's all I can give away. <laughs> everybody's, really, everybody's really sticking to their word. Um, Anna, um, when you first found out you got this role, how did you try and prepare? 
I haven't started preparing yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how's that gonna go. Um, yeah, Carrie, any <laughs> suggestions? Play it by ear. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I have, yeah. The best way to prepare for anything. Um, Carrie Ryan on Instagram wanted to know what do you hope to bring to the film um, as a director? Um. <clears throat> Who asked that question? <laughs> <laughs> it was Ryan Proctor on Instagram. Ryan, Ryan Proctor Ryan, on Instagram. Uh, that's, that's a tough question because, again, I have to sell myself, I guess, right? <laughs> um, I, I just think, uh, in, in a lot of ways, I think it's probably, you can't say this, but I, Daniel is my favorite Bond. And I, I just want to, uh, you know, well, I want to continue that. that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm going to give you a mic just to react to that. Really? Yeah. Sure. You know. Just, um, thank you. No, so I just, I want to make sure, you know, this this run of films has been fantastic. Have a have a really great next chapter, and uh, and just keep up in the ante. So you know whoever's next has a harder job. No pressure to whoever's yeah. next. Uh, Daniel, the final question for you uh, from your fellow Daniel in USA. Um, he says, "What is your favorite Bond gadget or car?" It's a very pressing question. Hello, Daniel. Um, the DB5 is my favorite car. I think it's still it's a classic. It's uh, um, uh, if I have the money, I'd, uh, I'd buy one. That's the, fast, that's the fancy Aston Martin, right? No, it's not. It's the old one. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, I don't speak cars, so here no. to learn from <laughs> you. That, that was a message to Aston Martin, if they're listening. Got it. <laughs> Obviously, other car brands are available. Now, unfortunately, that's all the time we have got uh, from you guys this morning. Thank you so very much for joining me in uh, Fleming's Villa. And we look forward to catching up with you over the coming months when you... Uh, get to filming this movie and unfortunately that's all the time we have for you guys as well a big thank you to everybody who took part by sending in their questions to hashtag bond 25 and remember if you are watching in norway and in italy do look out for all of these lot filming near you very soon i want to say a massive thank you to our producing team michael g wilson and barbara broccoli and of course our incredible cast and filmmakers carrie fukunaga leia Sedu, lashana lynch daniel craig naomi harris and anna de Armas. now do make sure you keep an eye on 007.com and on all of our social media that's on youtube facebook twitter instagram carrier pigeon however you can find 007 we want you to keep your eyes on because this film hits cinemas early next year now we're going to leave you something very special um, this is a first look at one of the sets from bond 25 so from all of us here in jamaica see you later isn't dead. James, fate draws us back together. Now your enemy is my enemy. His name is Seffin. And what does he want? Revenge. Me. When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of you. You can imagine why I've come back to play. There's a young lady in Santiago I want you to meet. You're late. When you're ready. Salute. I met your new double O. She's a disarming young woman. I get why you shot him. Yeah, well, everyone tries at least once. James Bond. We both eradicate people to make the world a better place. I just want to be a little tidier. Come on, Bond. Where the hell are you? You have a 
flamme à Nope. Harder to tell the good from bad, villains from heroes these days. What is it? You don't know what this is. He's going to kill millions. If we don't do this, there will be nothing left to save. Hey, Quarrel! Who the hell lives up there? I know a place where we could rustle up a car. Ah, beautiful, brave, and now resourceful. Rosie, you seem to be staging a remarkable comeback. Looking for shells? No, I'm just looking. Stay where you are. I promise I won't steal your shells. I promise you you won't either. Stay where you are. What's your name? Ryder. Ryder what? Honey Ryder. Oh, don't bother. Are they valuable? This one is worth fifty dollars in Miami. Fifty. You promise you won't tell anyone? I promise. <laughs> 